what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more sons of anarchy sons of anarchy it is getting really wild we just watched um clay 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 man killed piney you know i mean piney was you know not you know it wasn't he, he was a good character in the show he wasn't by any means like my favorite character or anything like that um you know but it was sad to see him get killed like that shotgun to the chest bro like he didn't deserve to go out like that because of bitch ass clay clay i i i you, you know what i'm saying i hope Jax kills him that's all that's all i can hope for right now i want Jax to kill him and i hope it's in front of the club I hope it's in front of the club. I don't want the, the the cartel to kill Clay. I don't want the 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 Mayans to kill Clay. Okay, he needs to be killed in front of the club. That's what needs to happen to Clay. Okay, he's a bitch. He's he killed now, killed a club member. No, we have two people that killed club member, but at least Juice has some sort of guilt. You know what I'm saying? At least Juice has some sort of guilt towards this. You know what I mean? So I can't even fault him because, you know, I don't want to see him kill himself. I think he should own up to what he did and just take the punishment. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he'll get kicked out of the club. But the, 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 the problem is that at this point, it's moot for him to get kicked out of the club because, you know what I'm saying? He killed a club member to protect his ass. So he can't even come out and tell the truth now because they would just kill him you know but anyways let's jump into these episodes episode 9 and 10 and i will see you guys for the review all right welcome back guys so today if you're here, you would know that I cut myself off from talking about it in the video and just went to the review to talk about this. So today I was actually, my brother called me earlier today and we were talking and he said he's never seen Sons of Anarchy. He's He, he said he's watched a couple of episodes, like the beginning, but he, you know, he's a busy guy. He's just as busy as I am. So if not even busier, to be honest. And he... You know, he said he's never seen the show, and I was trying to convince him. I said, "Dude, just take the time and just binge watch it." You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I don't want him to watch my reactions because I don't want any of my family members watching my reactions. To be honest, like, if they just happen to see see it and see it, then it's then it's fine. But I'm not the one who's gonna be like, "Hey, I do reactions on YouTube. You should go watch it." Like. I'm not that guy, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But if they happen to just come across it, then, they, then they'll then they see it, whatever. But at the current moment, I don't think anybody in my family is watching because they would have told me already. So, um, so I was just trying to convince him to watch the show because I believe this is an incredible show. Like you just got to give it time. You just got to give it time because season one, up until now and as i said during the episode you would think that the show would have peaked already but it's just the acting in this show that really you know that blows me away every time you know what i'm saying it's just um that's what blows me away the most about the show let me turn like this because sideways my face keeps disappearing for some reason but it's just it's crazy to me how much they go into certain details when it comes on to this show and the acting is so brilliantly done. Like, I think this is this is one of the best performances out of the entire show. That scene with Jackson Tara, like I felt that man. I felt that. And don't get me wrong, there were you know, there are other seasons in the show that really stands out. You could see that that probably that scene was one take and you could tell sometimes by 
you know what I'm saying, how it was acted out. It's not easy to get somebody to show that kind of emotion over and over again if you do more than one take. I think they did that in one take. You get what I'm saying? And she absolutely nailed it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and the reactions from Jax was, you know what I'm saying? Like, the things that she was saying. And you can't even fault her for saying anything she's saying because it's just like, Maybe this is how it's supposed to happen. And that's one of the things that when we when we are remorseful about a situation, we try to figure out why. Why did this have to happen? You get what I'm saying? Is it really fated for us to really be together? Do I, you know what I'm saying? Like you're questioning your, the love that you have for this person because this is the position that they're putting you in, Right. This is the position that they're putting you in. White is not a good color to wear on a green screen. Let's let me just say that it's it's not great. It does it it doesn't. You know, <laughs> I'm never gonna do that again because I I just realized that white is just not it's just not a great color for green screens. You know what I'm saying? So I'm definitely going to get that changed because it just it, it gives too much issues. Look at my right shoulder right here. That should not be happening. That should not be happening. Like. When I wear other colors, that doesn't happen. I haven't changed anything. So it just goes to show you that the, the, the situations that they're trying to portray, you know what I'm saying? Like him, try, Clay trying to kill, try, put out the hit on Tara, them botching the job because he didn't know that Jax and the kids were going to be with him. He tried to call it off and the cartel is like, nah, bro, she's still a threat. She's still a threat. We got to take her out. So now we going to handle it personally. No middleman now. So her life is still in danger. But guess what? You know what I'm saying? Gemma figured it all out. Called him out on his bullshit. She put up a good fight. But you're going up against, you know, a woman going up against a man. You know what I'm saying? Like short of her just killing him with a gun or stabbing him with a knife or pure luck. You are not going to overpower a dude. Especially a guy like Clay. No matter how you look at him and be like, oh, he old, he old as shit. Still a pretty strong dude. I didn't expect Gemma to overpower him. I was glad when she got away from him. You know what I'm saying? She punched him in the face. She was fighting for her life. So the possibility, I was hoping she got out of that situation unscathed, which is not the issue. Which is, you know what I'm saying? It happened. You know what I'm saying? She, she, she got beat up. He full mounted her. And and was punching her in the face with the the hand with the rings on it. Like, come on, bro. Like, if you have not lost respect for Clay yet, what are you waiting on? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what are you waiting on? Sorry, my throat got a little dry there. I had to take a sip of water. So it's just crazy how they they just they just do the utmost to portray these characters in such a genius kind of way and that just makes me love the show even more you know what i mean it just makes me love the show even more um so i appreciate man i appreciate that they go to the distance to do these things and show human behavior that he, you know even amongst themselves as criminals they still have all these issues that they have to deal with and that's that's basically the life that a criminal lives it's like always looking over your shoulder there's always some there's always something and maybe it was wrong of me to root for that relationship to happen because but i'm i'm always going to be a guy that's rooting for love you know what I'm saying? And loving it, it in, in itself, it's a dangerous thing. In itself, it's dangerous. And then you come and pack on pack on all of this, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All these different things, these criminal behavior behind it just make things even worse because now she's in it and she was accepting it, but now they want to get out. Jax is about to get up and now they, they get attacked because of Clay. You know what I'm saying? Just over some letters, bro. Over some letters because he don't want a club to kill him. He don't want Jax to kill him. And I get why he's spiraling and he wants and he wants to get back in control. You know what I'm saying? But Tara, even though Gemma told him, hey, bro, she's not a threat. 
You know what I'm saying? She's not a threat to you anymore. She's not going to show Jax the letters, which is what I think is his is honest fear. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, Clay is also claiming that it's he killed John because of Gemma. You know, that's what he's claiming. I mean, that's a little part of it, but still, dude, come on, man. Own up to your bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Own up to your to your stuff. You know what I mean? Own up to your stuff and stop trying to pin it on somebody else. Just own up to it because you did the deed. You wanted Gemma. You know, Gemma didn't force her hand. I don't think Gemma told him to kill John. You know what I'm saying? I don't think so. But I don't know for sure. You know what I'm saying? I don't know for sure. But in any case, I don't, I don't think so. But there's still so much about, you know, what happened that we need to know. You know, there's still so much about what happened that we need to know. But in any case, I still want to, to see where this is going to go. You know, because I think now she's made a decision to let Jax know because she said, she said she wants Clay to be killed by a son. Now, metaphorically or literally she could be talking about Jax. you know what i'm saying so we'll see how that turns out might watch another couple episodes man this was fire definitely definitely fire man um i appreciate y'all for tuning in as always and hopefully you guys enjoy these episodes um that is me that is me appreciate y'all leave a like leave a comment and i will catch you guys later Peace.